What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video specifically, we're going to be looking at XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as the S&P 500 if we have time. Specifically in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the small correction we've had in the markets. We're going to be looking as to whether or not we're going to be heading lower, if we're going to be moving up, and then if we need to adjust our charts, figure out the better you know practice as towards moving forward and capitalizing on the market. Things are definitely at a consistent consolidation point which is honestly great for the market i mean after we've had massive you know uprisings and massive corrections to the downside it's nice to finally have some sort of consolidation which will not only help us find a better pattern moving forward but just gives us time to relax, readjust our positions, and get ready to buy in forward. So otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at CryptoViaOfficial. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's video. All right, guys, so yesterday's episode, we discussed how XRP Ripple's next move will shock all of you, basically trying to figure out exactly the pattern. And I think we've pretty much figured this out as we've come to some very interesting walls. Now, I just want to jump right into the video, just looking at some of the technical analysis. I want to give a quick refresh of the current coin market cap. You can see for the most part, I mean, it's interesting to see that the coins are up uh, in regards to seven day movements, but I'm not going to really you know, uh, focus too much on that. We do see Bitcoin and Ethereum, even XRP up close to 10%, if not above that. But a lot of these cryptos, even Litecoin up 17%. Like this is in the seven day, you know, average. In regards to the 24 hour average, we're really not seeing much positivity, you know, across the board. So it's very interesting to see, even if you look at the last seven days, we're pretty much just kind of sliding, you know, right. That's really all we're doing is just consolidating. If anything, look like we're, it looks like we're dropping lower. So what's really interesting to jump right into the episode is looking at a certain, you know, a certain couple of, you know, uh, charts here. So I do have XRP pulled up. I actually had to refresh my laptop yesterday. So if you have the charts slightly different on your computer, or if they're slightly different than what you remember, it's probably because I refreshed them and I had to recreate some of the charting patterns. Uh, but you can see this kind of makes sense here. I mean, we have right now our XRP chart. It is in an uptrend. Honestly, I want to say that this is probably one of the harder charts out of the ones that we're going to look at in regards to trending and figuring out the the correct way this coin wants to move. I mean, we're trying to find some sort of uptrend here and it's, and it's you know, coming off as pretty difficult. The reason being is because we only have two points of, you know, correction. We only have one and then two. So we're really looking for three points on this uptrend to really consider it in any sense an uptrend but when we look at the four hour chart you can see kind of why i drew this if this loads in here you can kind of see where that uptrend takes place you can see we had a smaller one here which then broke bearish and then we kind of fell lower back down to support but we're kind of hugging this moving average right here on the four hour and that's kind of where i'm using this as a means of moving upwards and a means of support because we're bouncing off not only this resistance here our support but we're using the uptrend to kind of you know slowly move ourselves into the upside so why am i saying that we're looking for what could be a big move coming you know in the future or the next second wave or a big wave in the market reason being is after this consolidation it's it's for a very interesting pattern what i'm noticing is there's a clear you know price ceiling there's a clear resistance where the price pretty much strongly decides to hang uh, hang around which is around 70 cents but notice We've been retesting that for weeks now. I mean, this was back on the 24th of November. We're, we're now in the 1st and we're all the way up to the 5th where we've seen pretty much just consolidation in there. But notice if we use this support and this ascending, you know, descending uptrend, we're probably going to slowly fill in this gap and come to retest that resistance once again. If we end up closing inside of this here in the gap here, which we probably will, and then we see, a, you know, it open above resistance and then close above resistance, there's a good chance it's going to lead to that second wave. And I'm pretty certain we're gonna see that pump. I mean, we're now consolidating at $19,000 on Bitcoin. 
uh, 60 or 58 cents on XRP. Coins want to move to the upside. So specifically, if you guys are interested in learning which trades I'm making, when I'm making my trades, how to buy long, how to sell short, how to take advantage of the market without actually losing, you know, my video credit. Uh, and what I mean by that is specifically, like if you were interested in buying in and selling short or learning when to make these trades, my YouTube channel, I have to edit, I have to upload, I have to post. So there's kind of a delay. But if you want the live updating ones and the live updating posts, I've actually put it all onto my Patreon. And I just wanted to really come on here and shout out everybody that has signed up so far. We have over 134 people now uh, that have joined the Patreon group, which is incredible. So huge shout out to you guys for helping support the channel. This is actually incredible. We've never seen it this high, uh, if ever. Uh, so it's really incredible. And I'm really fortunate to have you guys as uh, subscribers and you're really making this channel become what it is today. So definitely make sure to check it out. Like I said, we have different tiers in regards to which you know cryptos you have of interest. Uh, the S&P 500, we have a platinum tier, we have Bitcoin and XRP. Just really the core stuff we talk about on the channel that you're interested in learning. So there's a few, you know, there's a few seats remaining. So definitely make sure to check it out if you're interested. Otherwise, moving back into XRP, you can see the uptrend is forming. But XRP really isn't showing, you know, the best technical analysis and charting. That's why I've been using other charts like Ethereum, for example, Bitcoin and Litecoin showing clear reasons as to why they're probably going to end up moving higher. Now notice on the uptrend within Ethereum, there is this uptrend clear today. We have one, two, three points of confirmation. And now you can see we kind of hit some sort of resistance here and are starting to climb back higher. You know, I did say in yesterday's episode that there was going to be correction. There was going to be a retracement to the downside. Uh, we looking to project it to fall down to 540 and then we could reverse higher. Granted, we only hit this bottom here. We did exactly correct. We fell from 610 all the way down to 566. So this is still a great play to correct on. And like I said, this is more for advanced traders, not conservative traders like me, but there was a beautiful correction to the downside. What was interesting Thing is I wanted to make a small uh, addition to the charting something like this which which is pretty interesting if you ask me I mean there's a clear resistance here or you know clear resistance where the price has been retesting clear support on the other end um, and it's interesting to see kind of how this just wants to play out so I just left this on here we'll see if we break lower it's just you know something small I wanted to throw in and being so I'm gonna make the spin just so we can all you know get a general understanding of where the markets are trending to but ultimately the same thing applies itself uh, as I said with XRP to ethereum and to these other cryptocurrencies there is some sort of ascending triangle forming there is some sort of uptrend forming we are going to be heading higher we are going to be filling in this gap so there's a good chance as we slowly fill in this gap which could lead to maybe mid-december we're going to see some sort of price projection price explosion uh, volume injection into the market where we're either going to see closure at any point you know from now till then above resistance which is clearly capped at around i would say 615 and if we close above this resistance here and we can close fairly certain you know fairly high we're setting new all-time highs for 2020 and we're going to end up we're going to end up breaking to bigger all-time highs as fomo buys in same thing applies with this small bottom uptrend right here if we close below here at any point we're probably going to see a big reversal so set those as triggers as they will and definitely play a big role and a big vital role in project, uh, projecting the market and capitalizing off those gains. Same thing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has this beautiful uptrend, has this beautiful resistance across the top. We're merely filling in this gap. Same exact time as Ethereum was closer to mid-December. Uh, clearly, if we break resistance and close the candle above resistance here, which would be closer to uh, you know $19,700, if we close a candle above that, expect to you know put out a trigger, buy in long, and then expect to see $20,000, $22,000, $23,000, $25,000 as we explode up and FOMO takes over. Because that's what everyone's waiting for. Everybody is waiting for the big pump to the upside. So I do believe we're going to all-time highs for Bitcoin it, very soon, very quickly. It's just a matter of time. We're not trending up like this, creating higher lows, setting, you know, lower, uh, lower, lowering ourselves on the RSI and, and setting the price higher up. And then, you know, constantly doing that it's allowing us to build our you know our price heading up higher and not actually affecting us too much on the relative strength indicators and the macd's so it looks great you know we're undervalued on the macd we're not doing too bad on the rsi at 60 
and we're at $19,000. I mean, that's incredible. So get ready, guys. I do believe you just need to fill in this gap. Then we'll make the obviously the deciding factor. And then vice versa, if we close below this uptrend here, expect to see a short back down in the moving average. And if we close above resistance, expect to buy in long to swing it to the upside. Lastly, this applies to Litecoin, which is clearly in a downtrend. I just want to pull up the weekly if this lets me. Great. Uh, I wanted to make a small adjustment to this coin really quickly, like I've done in the past. Like I said, my my thing's refreshed, so it's not on here anymore, which is annoying. But um, I just wanted to show you what it is I'm referring to by adjusting this and then adjusting this. I believe this was in it too in some regard. Something like that. And we extended this out a little farther. And you can see what it is now that I'm referring to. Just like this. Just a an even longer you know, symmetrical triangle that formed. You can see how it makes sense. One, two, three. We have our clear uptrend this way. Uh, just gonna delete these. And you can see what it is I'm referring to. Is it even gonna let me delete it? Cool. And you can see that we are hitting resistance. We're probably gonna correct lower. Uh, ultimately, we are just consolidating into here. We could break very easily, but mainly what the focus is, is if we're going to close either below or above this ascending triangle. Clear resistance at the top here as we're bat uh, battling this. If we close the candle above resistance, above $90, expect to see a pump to the upside. Vice versa, if we close below this uptrend, expect to see you know a closure to the downside or a reversal to the downside. Mainly, we just need to fill in the gap. Mainly, we just need to consolidate out, slowly consolidate out, uh, you know, lower ourselves, make ourselves primed for what could be another bull run, and then we buy in. So mainly just retrain yourselves, get ready to be buying in, figure out what exactly is going to be happening, and then we'll move forward. As for the S&P 500, I mean, we are so freaking close to retesting, you know, overbought. It's just scary to think. It's very interesting. I mean, I sold right around here, and we've only been trending below it for the longest time. We're now heading right back up to resistance, where we're not only above, you know, the moving average, or, or sorry, we're not, not only are we above the massive, you know, ascending channel that we've had on the coin, but, but we are also extremely close to retesting overbought. That's what's worrying me. I want to buy back in, but I just, does it make sense to buy back in when we are so extremely high? I don't, I really don't know. I mean, the fact is you could see where the coin is. We're literally retesting all-time highs. Last time we retested all-time highs right here, we're at the same price level. Let me extend this outward so we can all get a better view. Exactly, you know, a couple of months ago, we were at the same RSI at 66. We reversed lower. Go back even farther. We were overbought here. We reversed lower. Let's go back to when we were overbought here. We reversed lower. Over here, we reverse lower. Let's just keep scrolling. This is probably the only time we didn't really see a correction. I mean, unless we really zoomed in on this and we get a better you know, look. I mean, we did correct lower, but it only allowed us to keep gearing up higher and higher and higher. So it's a very interesting approach. Uh, my accountant says just buy in and you know enjoy the ride, but it's, it's interesting to see us, especially when we're so extremely high off the ground. It's very, very, very interesting to understand whether or not this is the best time to be buying in. Regardless, I'll put my money in sooner than later. Um, I just gotta figure out whether or not this is going to tank or go higher. But it's interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Link in the description, um, you know, comment in the description. Otherwise, guys, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, CryptoVOfficial, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.